Good evening to the Brookfield Selectmen's meeting of Tuesday, March 6, 2018. Would you like to rise and join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like a motion. Uh, to entertain, uh, to approve the war wire warrant from two twenty-eight eighteen for $330. You want to do it all three together or no? Oh, we want to do them all? Okay, yeah, we'll do might them as well. All. And then we want to acknowledge the minutes and reports Ooh, from... No, just... <laughs> oh, I only have one on here. Ooh, you don't... I have three. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, there's three. Must have an early draft. Here, take this. Take this. I have one right here, Karen. Okay. okay. All right. There we go. Now there we go. Now we're back. Now we'll we're back. try it. All right. Now we're back in business. Yep. Okay. So we'll do it again. Okay. I'd like to entertain a movement to approve a wire warrant from two twenty eight eighteen for three hundred and thirty dollars. Approve an expense warrant for three five eighteen three thousand six hundred and three hundred three. $300,062,610.89. There you go. I'm doing good tonight. And I also want to ratify a payroll warrant for two twenty-eight eighteen for $158,212.37. You have a motion to that effect. Okay. I'll you, second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. And I would like to acknowledge the minutes and the reports from other departments, from the ZBA, from 8118, 8218, from the Recreation Committee for 2118, and Cultural Council from 2518. You have a motion? Uh, I'll second that. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. We have some announcements. Tyler Wolin, District A, to Senator Ann Goldby, will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, March 21st, all are welcome. A regional WRTA public hearing will be held on April 12, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. at the Brookfield Congregational Church at 8 Common Street. This relates to possible changes to the WRTA root system. Area residents who ride the bus or those who wish to support this vital transportation link are encouraged to attend. And then I have one more announcement. Uh, the town expects restructuring with Bay State Financial to be completed soon, and we look forward to having an audit team come in soon after that. Tom Scanlon will do the audit for FY14 through FY17. Mr. Snyder, do you have anything you'd like to uh, Yes, I do. Because of the snowstorm last Saturday, we had to cancel uh, the open space meeting for Saturday morning. So we've now shifted to one final uh, open space meeting that will be on March the 14th uh, at 6.30 here, in, and it'll be tied with the Ag uh, committee me meeting, Commission meeting that evening. So we'll uh, have two uh, activities. And then there was some confusion because of that happening where we were going to talk bees on the March 14th meeting. We're now not talking about bees until April. Okay. So thank you. I guess that's all. Next section, we'll move on to a brief section of public access. Anybody have anything to say? Good evening. Good evening. What's, uh, so you have a new, the, the uh, police officers aren't in the uh, selectmen's meetings anymore. Can you tell me why that is now? They haven't been in the last five meetings. We probably felt we have a need for well, I mean, what's, you, you had a procedure that they were coming, now they're not coming. Could you just tell, tell the people why they're not here now? Because what the reason is? What the reason is? Yeah, why what are they not here? They, had, they were just calling and asked us if we wanted to have a police officer up here, and we said yes. And like we tried to explain to you, Dave, before, you know, with everything that's going on here in, in the country today, you never know what's going to happen. So we've okay. just decided now that they don't, we have no need for them. Okay, sounds like okay. Sounds like you're contradicting yourself, but okay. What uh, what's the status on the salt? The use of salt in, in our town now it's, it's pure salt everywhere on all the back roads. What's the uh, status on that? Why are we using salt? It's more expensive. It's bad for the wells. It's 
bad for plant life. Mr. Snyder, do you want bad to for the swamps. Mm -hmm. I, I would it's expensive. That, I would uh, ask that the administrative assistant take the uh, concern down, and then we will ask the highway superintendent yep. to uh, respond to the question. All right. So can you put that on the next agenda? Yep. <clears throat> Madam Chairman, that's your call. Yes, I will. Yep, we'll put it on the okay. next agenda. Because salt is, is like triple the cost of sand, four times almost. Um, what's what's our status on our special town meeting? Are we going to have one or we're not going to have no, one? No, we're not going to have one. Uh, do we have our certification on both years of free cash yet? Um, no, I just read your announcement. We expect, I just read that announcement that we expect everything to be finished soon. And as soon as we have all of our everything done up, we will let the audience, the townspeople know what's going on. Why is it, why are we just taking so long? I mean, I keep hearing we're going to be having our free cash certified and then it doesn't happen. So what we have is we have uh, from fiscal year 14 through 16 reconciled. We are presently working on the reconciliation of 17. With that, we will have an auditor audit the books, and that's what you read earlier. Yes, that's what I just read. After that's all done, we said it's going to be completed soon, and after that, we we're going to have well, the books will all be audited by um, Tom, Tom Scanlon, who is our auditor. And when will the uh, free cash be certified? Once, once the audit is yeah, complete. Once, once, yeah, once the audit is complete, the uh, then it goes to the we didn't, we didn't get behind on the reconciliation overnight. It's not getting no, fixed overnight. No, it's been it's something that has gone on for we years. Would, we would have liked to have seen it happen faster, but uh, it took a little while to dig into some of the records. And when it's complete, it's going to be complete. And it's going to be complete right. So, you know, it's going to be done when it's done. <coughs> it's at this yeah, point. That's, that's, I just read so. the announcement date. So. Okay. Well, I'm just saying that we're two years behind on a free cash certification. That's the state's got to certify it, correct? Yes. Okay. And, w and you said that's going to be when everybody else gets the, their work done? It has to get submitted. Yeah. It, it, it can't all be has submitted to. until the books are balanced. Yeah, the it, books yeah are everything has to be balanced. submitted to the Department of okay. Revenue, and we have to approve of it. Okay. Well, it should be done. Um, one thing I want to tell the audience here about this bus, if people that are taking the WRTA into Brookfield, they are actually talking about cutting the number 33 bus into Brookfield. So if, if you really, anyone that is out there that takes the bus, you should be down at the uh, church, what's that, April 12th? March the 22nd. March the, 20, March the 21st, is that what it is? Uh, Let me go no, back. Actually, April, April 12th. 12th. April 12th. April 12th. Yeah, I was right, April 12th at 6.30. So if you take care about taking the bus, you better do your, you do your thing like I do here every night. You better get down there and talk because they are talking about cutting the bus out. They're only going to go to East Brookfield from what I've been told. So, a little uh, information on that. I got one other, one other thing is what, what happened down at Tantasco? We had frozen pipes down there this, this winter. I haven't heard too much and it was like a four or five hundred thousand dollar damage to the pipes. Can you find out about that for me, Linda? Well, there have been many stories, Dave, in the paper about it. They, yeah. They had some problems. I think it was with the sprinkler systems. Right. And um, I know that the gym, the gyms are in reopen. Regional no. school committee has an open meeting. You're yeah. free to go okay. find out. Well, I just so. think the, the general public should know we had that. I mean, if it's going to. Oh, it's it, been in the paper. Plenty yeah. Enough but it's, is it, is, it has a. I guess I'm going to ask another question. Is the problem been corrected? Yes, it had this yeah, problem. Most of it has been corrected. And uh, they have re relocated some of the offices, and the gym is available now. So that's okay. So get, people can go back yes. and rent the gym and the, the pool again? Yeah. Well, they were using the junior high. They had uh -huh. transferred everything over to the junior high school. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. So you're going to get back on this salt? Yes, I do. Next yeah. meeting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. This shouldn't take long, Linda. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just looking for a little bit of guidance regarding uh, the agreement uh, for judgment regarding the properties at Lake Road and Allen Road. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the, um, there's a 21-day um, period that we're expected, and I'm assuming I'm going to be doing that. Uh, to inspect the property, yes. and take the courts, make and Ron, reports, and Ron Wiseman is going to work with you. He's going to come. Okay. So all I'm expected to do is, or I'm going to do is, um, contact the owner, 
set up a, mm -hmm. a time frame. Yep, set up a time frame, set up a yeah. schedule. Yeah, and um, um, when you go on the property, make sure you do appropriate documentation, whether that's exactly. photography, and yeah. go ahead and submit, if you would, written reports Absolutely. to us regarding what the what the condition of the property is and what kind of progress is being shown. And if there's any progress going on, et cetera. Yep. yep. Okay. And you should also be working with the Conservation Commission who has a responsibility to contact DEP. Okay. And an inspection needs to be taken kit place before March the 21st. Yeah. For the DEP. Yep. And if and DEP then, can't, yeah. then the landowner is responsible to provide a certification that there are no hazardous wastes or other uh, contaminants at the site. From the, a license to third party. Right. Uh, does the CONCOM individual know, is he in? He's right here. He's right there. Mr. Cleveland's right here. Do they know, Kenny? Yeah. Have you had any response yet from the DEP on that? This morning. Great. Did, after we had discussed it, did you get a response after that? Absolutely. Remember we discussed it this morning? They had a DEP call. Oh, oh, so good you've heard. So I'm just waiting for their uh, back machine to be discussed. Yeah. And she's already. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Nick. Okay. The next thing we have our hearing at seven, but we are going to move up the rest of our agenda. Yeah, we have a um, meeting for And this one is um, uh, to sign to approve a CASC grant application, and Mr. Snyder is going to explain that. So this is the output from the open space work that we've been doing. So we've had uh, the open space uh, dialogue meetings to understand what we would want to put in an open space uh, plan and to re redo it. So what we now have the opportunity to do is to have CMRPC um, actually, like, well, they've written the grant application um, such that we can have the uh, open space, if this grant uh, recommendation is approved, grant request is approved, we would then have the ability to have uh, the open space uh, program done by CMRPC. What's important in this is that they, they wanted 20% or $1,600 roughly of matching monies. And so, what, what, though it's talking about the town having a responsibility for that, we have an agreement with CMRPC that through either direct technical assistance or um, in-kind services writing the grant, that, that we would not have any cost to the town for the writing of the open space. Very good. So, I thought it was a good negotiation. Yes, it is a good negotiation. I thank you for doing that. So, with that, I'd like a motion, i provide a motion that we sign the uh, grant request for the open space uh, grant. I'll second that. I, okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Alrighty. So is it down here, Carolyn? Three? Yeah. 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 It should be Chief Executive Office. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So that's eight thousand dollars that the town didn't have to spend. Oh, that's great. And it opens up more. Well, and it can serve some more services to town, potentially. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, it provides a channel for additional uh, monies for the campground, for example. Well, that's good. Money we didn't have before. Any exactly. money that we can get in is welcomed. Exactly. So, Karen, do you want me to take that, take care of that? Or? Just take it if you want. Yeah. No. Yeah, let me steal a folder from you. See what's on the last page that I saw something Oh, something else. Yeah, I just want to make sure nothing else because I don't because I thought I saw something. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I feel. Yeah. Okay, that goes 
Great. I'll take care of that. No, this, this one I, I got. That, that, one. that one I got. <laughs> Now this is the next one on our agenda is to sign special use permits and I'll uh, read them on and have a motion. Uh, these are special uh, use permits approval forms for uh, South Pond uh, made by the uh, Mass Bath Alliance and that will be 325.18. And then we have um, another one will be um, 7118, that'll be on Quaybog Pond, and that will be by the Friday Night Bass. And those are the two we have. I'd like to have a motion. You have that motion? Second. second. And for the court to sign me. Okay. Well, we'll use a second yeah. as we. Uh, so we're now up to over 800 different people that are going to be using our ponds through 2018. Yeah. Maybe. And that, I didn't, as part of the open space thing, we did, in fact, make a note of that. It seems more and more all the time are coming in. Yep. The next one is, this is another one. Oh, fine. All right. And the next one is an appointment to the uh, cultural council. It says, um, Dear, good morning, Karen. I work with Karen. Chris Garrett of 181 Fistdale Road came to our cultural meeting uh, last evening and has decided to become a member. So if you could get him appointed and let me know when he can be sworn in, and then that would be great. And I'll have to find out if his name is Chris or Christopher. Have a wonderful day, Gene Light. I'd like to make a motion to appoint um, Christopher Garrett to the Cultural Council for the term expiring on June 30th, 2018. You have that motion? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now the next one is um, we have a resignation. To the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Brookfield, it is with great sadness and frustration that I am tendering my resignation from the Advisory Board of the Town of Brookfield. I originally wanted to learn more about the town and felt my background in accounting would be of value to this committee. My being new to the community afforded me the opportunity to get to know the inner workings of various departments without any preconceived notions of personalities or issues. All of my encounters with the different departments have been a great pleasure and the people are very dedicated to doing what is best for Brookfield. The advisory board needs to reorganize it a, a full committee, not just one person. The members should have a voice and an opinion and be able to act as one united group in the best interest of the town's taxpayers. My advice would be to have a handbook on the duties and responsibilities of the chair and all of its members. Remember, no man is an island. Sincerely, Maureen Moreno of 36th Street here in Brookfield. Motion to receive that and accept that with regret. I second. I re I'd like to, it's a regret because she was just doing a very good job and being somebody new here in the community. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And Karen, if you'll send her out uh, a letter of appreciation. Okay, now we have um, a public hearing uh, is going on for the Tantask Regional School Committee budget for the 2018-2019 budget will be held on Tuesday, March 20th, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. at the Tantasco Regional Junior High School Cafeteria. A copy of the proposed budget is available at the town, at the office of the superintendent of schools at 320A Brookfield Road, Fistdale, Mass. They removed a diesel tank. Oh, okay. It was contaminated. Okay, this is uh, from Riley, uh, Riley Talbot and Oakham. And what they're doing is the release of a oil tank at 80 Lake Road in Brookfield. And uh, that's over at the Oak, Hel Oak Home Realty Trust. They discovered it, they remediated it. 
And then I guess that's it where that's concerned. And do we have anything under other to bring up? No, I think we have nine minutes. Okay, so we're going to adjourn now at uh, 6.50 and then reopen the meeting at 7 for our hearing from Mr. Holmes. We'd like to, um, so very fun, we'd like to reconvene the meeting and before we start the um, notice of the public hearing, um, our Sh Sharon has something to say. Under, uh, All right, thanks for indulging me. I should have put this on the agenda, but I didn't think of it. Um, as you may or may not know, Cable Access has charge of the town Facebook page, listed as Town of Brookfield on Facebook. And one of the duties that I have is posting the um, link to the tapes of the meetings on that. The rest of the duties were assumed very graciously on a volunteer basis by Lindsay Holm. Mm -hmm. And she's been doing a superb job. In addition, she also set up an independent community page, Brookfield Mass Community, which she is totally in charge of. Um, both of them are non-political, but the community page, this is not formally affiliated with the town. Um, she can have things like uh, uh, Mercantile Wednesday, where people can post you know, effectively advertisements or links to their businesses. Lindsay asked me by message if now that we have a new website, um, if we shouldn't discontinue the official Town of Brookfield page and post announcements and links to the videos on that instead. Because she is a little out straight managing two Facebook pages. So I wanted to just get the board's opinion on this so that I can bring it back to the full committee and all three of us and, um, and discuss how we're going to go about this. One of the obstacles I see is that None of the three of us really know how to post things on the website. And even if we did, we weren't sure where, it, where those things should go. If, depending on the genre, if they should go on separate pages or if they should be like one page, effectively a copy of the Facebook page or what. So I'm not asking for answers tonight. Just asking the question. Right. And uh, I'd appreciate the feedback. And it can be in the form of an email to the committee. or um, And that would be care of uh, Kay Urkula at brookfieldma.us, he's the chair. And any feedback you can provide and any um, preferences you may have about where, if we do use the town webpage, where that information should go and how we make the public aware of it is, is really appreciated. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I like the webpage, Facebook page. You like the Facebook page? I do. I don't. Fair enough. Going to it pops up when you're on it. Yeah. And it's, you're not actually going to search for, you're not plugging yeah, in a website. The problem is Lindsay doesn't want to manage to the yeah. 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 Maybe somebody else. Maybe we can find a, yeah, maybe yeah. we can find another volunteer specifically for the Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to open the, heat, uh, the hearing now. Town of Brookfield Board of Selectmen will conduct a public hearing on the application of David Holm of Holm Auto Group, LLC for a class two license to buy, sell, and exchange or assemble second-hand motor vehicles or parts thereof in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 140 of the Massachusetts General Laws. Said hearing will be conducted on Tuesday, March 6, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the Banker Hall, 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass. Board of Selectmen Linda M. Lincoln Chairman, Clarence R. Snyder, Vice Chair, and Beth L. Coughlin Clark. Good evening, Mr. Holmes. Good evening. Uh, would you like to explain a little bit about your, your business that you're going to have? Uh, basically, it's going to be a uh, classic car for sale business. I, I don't plan on having it uh, getting too large, a couple cars at a time. Um, you know, I was kind of doing it personally and having to go register the cars and get the uh, titles and, pro and all the process. Instead, I just wanted to get a, a, a second class, second um, used car license, uh, was it class two? Class two. And, um, you know, do it properly through town and uh, basically run the business out of an office in my house and apparently. Uh, A1 is going to allow me to put a couple cars down there. So uh, that's where so the business will be registered from? Uh, it would be to. registered at my house. Yes, yes, but I mean, if you're going to be selling them right. down there, 
Uh, you'll have to have you know, I would bring the cars to my house and, pos and detail them. Mm -hmm. uh, no automotive repairs whatsoever. Um, I only buy, you know, pretty pristine cars, and uh, so that's that's the way I want to do it. Because the way we have it here in the license, it says 40 Allen Road for office and reconditioning, mm -hmm. and 26 West Main Street that's for it. display of cars for sale. That's correct. Okay. And that's consistent with how the planning board's permit reads as well. Now, right. We have any discussion here with the board? Or additional input? Any I mean, input? I, and do we have any input from anybody here in the um, audience on this? Okay. Uh, I just, uh, I just had a question. I just wanted to make clear that there, this we're not talking about power tools and repairs or sanding or repainting or any of that nature. Right. It's not, it's not repairing. It's not going to be an auto body shop. That's or, what I was concerned. You know, it's nothing concerned. like that. Nothing at all. It's it's basically buffing a car out or, you know, detailing the interior, detailing the engine compartments, things like that. Yeah, and but detailing and cleaning. And cleaning. Cleaning. Yeah. Basic cleaning, yeah. And, and it states right in the, the planning board Buffing. permit. Buffing. Buffing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yeah, the planning board permit states very specifically that there's no automotive or auto body repair will be conducted at the address. <laughs> there's no service bay that's that's part of this. So, mm -hmm. you know, I do have a three bay garage. And, you know, basically, the, the garage itself. That was my concern. Any more so, questions from anyone? So, so the used car lot is going to be on route nine. That's where the cars will be kept. Yeah. And the rest is going to be in your office. Yeah. The cars, the actual cars being sold will be on Route 9. That's what the permit says. Yeah, that's what the permit says. Well, I'm just asking to make, make it clear. Yeah. So. I mean, there might be one in my driveway in between in pulling process. in and out in the process of detailing, but other than that, you know. Any more? So we get to approve, is that yes, based on the input? I would like a motion to approve this uh, these car license for Mr. Home. You have that motion? Second. On the table? Aye. 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 Good luck. Well, thank Good you luck very Mr. much. Can we waive the fee on that? All right, I appreciate that very much. It was funny, the first meeting that we did have, which we all know about, it was all the neighbors showed up in my behalf and and they're asking me for this meeting do we have to come again and, and it was like i don't well, that's, think that's so nice at least and, you know it yeah it was very it was one was one was joking saying i i really want to know why we're gonna go three times but it was it, it was funny but we appreciate it thank you very much and um so as far as pulling the permit and things like that with the paperwork um how does that how do i proceed with that yeah. Well, you have the license now, so you can operate. Right. Right. Well, you can and I have the bond, and, and I have uh, my business so you're set with the state already. So you have the permission to go to December 31st, and then you'll reapply next year. Karen, do we have a copy of this? No, we have a sweet Oh, okay. I'll do it right now. 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 Yes, I do want to frame it. Thank you. Mr. Hunt, have you gone to see the town court to register the business? Um, you get a business certificate from yeah. him. So that's yes, that's yes. another thing. That's okay, another thing that's see, that's what I, I need to know. Town clerk, because I'm new to this myself. So. So I go to Mike and, and uh, oh, to. No, no. Okay. no, that's from the plan. Okay, all right, no, cool. All right, different. cool. I he, just saw Mike's name. He'll be in after. I think he's in at if he, after two tomorrow. It's a, it's a late day. Yeah, I'm actually going on a little vacation uh, at 2:45 a.m. this morning, so oh. I won't be back until the uh, following week. But nice to get this done and squared away, though. Thank you. It's a long time coming, <laughs> but it's it's happened, so that's great. That's great. Thank you. Good night. Good night. So I'll make a
motion that we move into executive session? Under, under number six. Under yeah. number six? Yes, to consider the per uh, No, is it six? No, which one? Or is it two? Negotiation. Two. On negotiations of under number under number two to conduct strategy sessions in preparation of negotiations with non union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non union personnel. Lincoln I. Snyder I. Coughlin. Okay, and then we will adjourn out of um, the executive board session to go back to uh, adjourn out of our regular sessions.